Super resolution is an exciting new feature in Adobe Camera Raw that allows you to double the size of any RAW file, JPEG, or TIFF. It's really easy to apply, and it does exactly what it says. Although, is it actually any good or not? Let's find out. Before we get started, my new book, The Digital Darkroom, The Definitive Guide to Photo Editing in Adobe Photoshop and Affinity Photo is now available. For more information about the book and to order your copy, follow the link in the video description. So today I'm going to focus on enlarging RAW files because you're always going to get the best results. Although, as I said before, you can also increase the size of JPEGs or TIFFs. And to do this, you just need to set up the file handling in the preferences of Photoshop. And there is a very brief tutorial of that in my blog post. So to get this file open, all I need to do is double click on it and it will open up into Adobe Camera Raw for me. And then all that we need to do is either click on this horizontal line of three dots or right mouse click on the image itself, go down to enhance, and that will open up the Enhance Preview dialog. And then here in this window, we can see a zoomed in version of our image. And then we just need to make sure that Super Resolution is checked. And within the window, when you aren't click down on the mouse, it shows the enhanced version. And then if I click on there, it shows without the enhancement. So you can see a small difference in this image, but I think we need to actually apply super resolution and have a look at the resulting image files. We can zoom out and then zoom into different parts of the image quite easily just by clicking on them. And here it just shows how long it's going to take Photoshop to complete that enlargement. And it's saying three seconds and quite often it's actually a bit quicker. So what we need to do now is hit enhance and then we can take a look at the resulting images. So here we have our two shots opened up in Photoshop and I've converted them to JPEGs. So on the left we have the original and on the right we have our new super resolution enhanced version which is twice the size of the original. So I've set up the zoom tool so we zoom all windows. And let's just zoom into the right eye which is the point of focus in this shot. And as you'll see on the left, the smaller original image is zoomed into 66.7, whereas on the right, the larger image is at 33.3%. And as we zoom in, it's always going to remain half with the original shot. So there we are at 200% with the original image. So I'm just going to go back out to 100%. And with this particular shot here, I would say that super resolution has worked really well. This was taken on a 12.8 megapixel Canon EOS 5D. So that's the original 5D from, I think it was back in 2006 or something like that. And I would say the shot on the right is actually sharper. One of the things that super resolution claims to do is enhance detail as well as enlarging the image. And in the case of this shot here, I know the shot of the left is at 200%, but you can really see here how much sharper that eye area is. But it isn't this simple. It, it doesn't work like this across the board. I've tried several different shots from this camera, and it seems to work better with portraits, whereas when working with outdoor kind of nature shots, landscapes, it doesn't work so well. And also, this is a you know, fairly low resolution camera as well. But let's take a look at a shot taken on a Sony A7R 3 now. So again, we have the original on the left and the enhanced version on the right. So I'm just gonna zoom into the tree and get it to 100%. So on the left here, that's the original. And you'll see it doesn't look quite as sharp as the image on the right. And that is consistent with Adobe's claims that super resolution does increase resolution and make images look sharper and enhance the details. But as you can see here, even with the enhanced version at 50%, it almost looks like the bark of this tree has been slightly over sharpened. So let's go in to 66.7% on the enhanced image 
and then up to 133 on the original and here you'll see it really does look over sharpened and when we zoom into 100% it looks like we're getting some artifacts in there so with this particular shot it's not working that well I did also look at a portrait taken on the A7R3 and it was much better better although arguably not quite as good as the portrait taken on the 5d mark 1. so for a final comparison let's take a look at a shot taken on a fujifilm x100v and once again we have the original shot on the left and the enhanced version on the right so let's just zoom in to the wall here and the water wheel and one thing that I found with the Fujifilm RAW files that I was working with is that they are consistently good. They work really well with super resolution. And if you've ever used a Fujifilm camera, you'll know that even at 100 ISO, sometimes details can look a bit waxy. And that characteristic certainly helps when it comes to applying super resolution because we don't seem to get that over sharpening effect. So let's just zoom in again. And you'll see there is very, very little difference, if any at all, between the original and the enhanced version. And trying this across different subject matter with the x 100 v results were always fairly consistent. So the only thing that I can really conclude is that at the moment, the results from this feature aren't consistent. So you really just have to put images through and see whether super resolution works for you and your camera i'm guessing over time as the artificial intelligence is improved the feature will improve and it's also said to be coming to lightroom as well but that is how to apply super resolution in adobe camera raw with a comparison of enlarged raw files from three different cameras mm -hmm.